What's going on? My day-to-day -day people. Got my people with me, huh? Got my people with me. So, welcome to another Blessed and Holy Sabbath. Today is October 31st, 2020. The content is basically going to be on Halloween. Now let's go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallow means holy in Hebrew. We see it within the Lord's Prayer. Ween is to be an opinion, to suppose, expect, hope, or to intend. As we journey through this course on Halloween, understand this is not a judgmental approach on whoever celebrates this or not. However, me personally, I prefer not to, and that does not make me better than anyone else. All right? Or special. So, in early Christianity, believers were convinced if they dressed like saints and go door to door would scare evil spirits away from them. The spirits would see them as being well and move on. Hallow's Eve, the term All Souls Day. It was coined based on signifying October 31st as the end of light and warmer weather. Winter is considered the season of nature dying or being dead. Halloween being the first day of the season, black and orange are the colors of Halloween. Contrast of opposite colors and opposite seasons. Black indicating cold and death, while orange represents life, warmth, and autumn season. Now, once in a blue moon. Ever heard anyone say that phrase? A blue moon is a rare occasion. Let's keep in mind on the rituals performed under the moon on this night. Our Lord has always been in control of keeping his children shielded. From the works of the wickedness and their rituals. All praises to the Most High God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Scriptures does not give a direct target on this night of Halloween. However, let's do some digging. Let's go to Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such are clothed with strange apparel. Strange apparel. That is not normal appearance of clothing. Okay? Idols are worshipped during this night. Have to be careful, for this action opens the door for Satan to enter. Now, that I'm just going to be honest. That's within scriptures. All right? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27. Neither give place to the devil, right? Neither give place to the devil. Do not give the devil an opportunity to attack, right? He attacks us without even giving him the opportunity. So it would not be wise to give him an opportunity to attack, to welcome him, to invite him, all right? Let's go to Romans 12, 2. It's Romans chapter 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God now the will of God is accepting and believing in our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus now as we're still speaking of the world and the world's traditions let's look at 1 John chapter 2 it's 1 John chapter 2 verse 15 and 16. All right, 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. All right? So, just those two texts or verses right there i mean let's go back and look at 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him and when you read that being followers of christ within this holy spirit that is gifted to you through accepting our lord and savior we are laughed at and mocked as people who cannot have fun 
You know, we we're, they say we have, have to be serious all the time. There's things that we can't do. And I guarantee you, what's in these scriptures, and you look at the book of Revelations and it gives you a glimpse of how this kingdom is going to be, I'd rather have less fun on the earth and more fun in the kingdom. And, and that's just being honest. And I truly believe in my spirit that there's a reason why fun is restricted within the flesh of living on this earth. There's too many things to learn and, and too much value to lose or gain, depending on how you live your life. And um, I truly in my spirit believe that. Now, we still have fun. We still have fun. But it's the Holy Spirit that's in you that convicts you for uh, things that you cannot push too far. All right. And that's all praises, all praises to the most high God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in first Peter three, three. The passage includes it's not our outwardly appearance or clothing where holiness is found. Holiness is inwardly. OK, holiness is only found within your flesh. So Halloween rejects and hijacks the holiness completely with terms such as trick or treating and devil's night. All right. It's, it's in our face. And if you remember before, hollow means holy. All right. And then you have the wean, which is to form an opinion. So every holiday that pops up. All right. It's always been in our face what it's about. It's nothing but a hijacking of Lucifer whenever he changed a lot of laws and times. All right. And we just have to be aware of that as followers of Christ and, and continue to hold our head high. Hold your head high, not with proud, but hold your head high to the heavens and, and seek guidance, you know, seek guidance. When correction is, is placed upon you, take it, take it as a welcoming spirit because not everybody can take correction. But when correction is presented to you, it is wise to take it, take heed to it and live this life. Man, it's a hard life. But if you surround yourself around those who believe the same thing as you, it makes it a little bit easier and tolerable. But um, happy Sabbath. Let's continue to pray for those that are less fortunate. Continue to help one another that needs help. Um, one of these prayers are for tonight. For tonight, exactly, is to, you know, if anybody's out there, just be safe. Be safe and um, be careful. Be watchful. All right. Be aware of what's going on. And um, let's just continue to, to walk and talk as we are. Walk and talk as we are as true believers and followers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Much love. Peace.